What's up guys and girls, Lazy Dragon here, and welcome back to Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition 10th Anniversary, yada yada yada, what's he do bring? Now, I am stupid, a fact that will surprise absolutely no one, because I ended the last episode halfway through a cutscene. My bad, mm, egg on my face. So here is a, a quick recap of what happened immediately after I ended last Tales of Vesperia video. We were in prison, there was a strange man talking to us, the Commandant Alexei, who I'm fairly certain is a Russian sleeper agent, came down and freed the strange man. Then the strange man had a coughing fit and almost passed out in front of our cell. Then we got a prison key from him, and now we're free. There we go, you're all up to date, now we can get back to the, the fun Vesperia action as Yuri runs around holding an invisible sword. So unclench your fist, man. Unclench your fi- I'd be less annoyed if you were Naruto running right now. You just look silly. <laughs> that guard's sound asleep. Better stay quiet. As he thumps around the room like he's auditioning for the Zaphyrus Capital version of Stomp. My stuff should be around here. Oh boy, in the first chest we search. There we go, he looks less silly now, now that he's actually carrying something. <laughs> oh boy, somebody did not go to the Metal Gear School of Stealth. Like that, even Snake would be embarrassed by that hiding spot. <laughs> Running into the open, and then being spotted immediately after trying to make sweet love to a wall. Ah, they spotted me. Really? You're annoyed by that? You... You're a disgrace to stealth games everywhere, Vesperia. You, I mean, don't get me wrong, you're great in other ways, but stealth, not your strong suit. And, oh, right, fighting. Uh, haha. -ha. We'll give you a stab and a run away. Which button lets me do the dash? There's like a dodge roll, isn't there? No, maybe not. No, none of these buttons are dodges or rolls. Maybe, maybe a croissant. Do, do I have a button that can summon a bakery? Because he doesn't telegraph his attacks at all, does he? <laughs> Take a load off for a while. Yeah, that's it. Trash talk the people who are unconscious on the floor. I always find that's a good way to improve your trash talk, actually. It's a step up from talking to yourself in the mirror. Oh no, he has to fight. Oh, ter oh that's terrible. For a pacifist such as him, that, that's just awful. Okay, now where do I go? Ooh, I do not go that way. Um, guard, you maybe want to actually do some guarding. No. Oh, okay. Good work, guard. Doing an amazing job there. I swear, I swear it gets good. The combat, combat gets better when there's more people involved. When you have a party full of people dropping meteors onto the battlefield, then it's great. Until then, it just looks like two Japanese puppets having a slap fight. Ooh, chests. Oh wait, I didn't check if they were a mimic. I mean, sure, I, I, I got some dapper capes and accessories. Command the heavens with the power of the ring. Like, the one ring? <laughs> when all eight wings are spread, a circle of light shall shine above the child of the full moon and the fourth door shall open. Oh. Oh, it's... It's... Fantasy. Ugh. I can't make heads or tails of that. All I know is somebody's got to be spreading themselves so that I can insert a ring up there. I'm sure that's what I was supposed to be taking away from that conversation. Which door is it? Is it this door? I think it's this door. No. No. Why do I say it like I know where I'm going? <laughs> the last time I played the game was about five years ago. I'm just going to be bumbling around in circles. Kind of like her. <laughs> I mean, hey, I got spotted by one guard, she got spotted by two. Clearly, I'm better than her. Why don't we just go back? I can't go back now! Why not? Why, why can't you go back? It's, this is, this your is your house, we saw you in a cutscene. <laughs> you haven't left yet. As for the incident, we assume full responsibility and will inform the lieutenant ourselves. What incident could it mean? 
Did they get a, a quick look up that very covering dress? Did, did they see the, the the princess's royal garden, as it was? Is that why she's so upset? Please, don't come any closer. Now, now, why don't you put that down? You'll only end up hurting yourself. You know, for a princess, she's really bad at commanding people. I know how to use a sword. Or maybe she's like a modern-day princess who only exists to go to charity events. Hmm, that can make sense. It's, it's a fantasy world where the princesses are just boring tax write-offs. I really hope those swords are made out of foam, otherwise they're about to commit regicide. They're straight up gonna kill her. I have <laughs> to warn Flynn. Oh dear, this is what you get for trying to run away. Did she say Flynn? No, no, she didn't. You're standing like three feet away from her. Jesus Christ, get the hair out of your ears and listen for a change. No, that's bullshit. I, I used that move. That's not a one-hit kill. Flynn, you came to help me. No, it's time to ruin your expectations. Who are you? Yeah, she sounds so happy to see us. <laughs> she could have disguised it a bit better, couldn't she? You can't win. Ow, ow. You got hit by the slowest moving enemy ever. Yuri, you are... You're a disgrace, my friend. Is this what knights do now? Don't they teach these guys manners in night school anymore? It says the man who answered a simple question by stabbing his opponent in the face. That's real conversation with this Yuri. Suddenly he looks like an amazing conversational conversationalist. At least he's not knocking people out with a bloody antique vase. Hey. Are you trying to kill me? Well, you don't belong in the castle, right? I mean, how does she know? The guards are supposed to be in the castle and they just tried to kill her. Like, no, all she knows, I might just be a lowly janitor come, come to save her. And yet she's still being an ungrateful shit. Yuri Law, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, th those facial expressions. I might change the logo of the channel to just Yuri's face right now. <laughs> he, he looks so content. Like, content and confused. Almost like he's... <laughs> he's wetting himself, but he's enjoying the sensation. That, that is the face. You foul fugitive! I say, we know you're trying to make your escape! And, and now, now he realises what he's done, and he knows he's gonna have to buy new trousers. Oh, please, not them again. I guess there's no point going back to the prison cell now. Yeah, no, no point in pretending we didn't break out of prison after killing six people. I'm sure they won't slap us with another murder charge. Lieutenant LeBlanc, your voice is too loud. My ears. Yuri Lowell? You're one of Flynn's friends, aren't you? How could she know that? Do they have Facebook in this fantasy world? Yeah, Flynn why? book? Everything revolves around Flynn? Apart from Rapide, because Rapide's awesome. Where, where is the dog anyway? I want, I want my dog. The cool dog. You hear that from Flynn? Yes. <laughs> oh no. People talk about Yuri behind his back. This is this is awful. That, that's his inner turmoil for the game. It's the fact that people talk about him. You can't be an emo protagonist hero without some sort of inner turmoil after all. Hold on just a second. Who are you supposed to be anyway? I can't take him seriously with the shirt. I can tell you no flame, I, but why are you being chased by the knights? I forgot so much about this game, and one of the things I, I either forgot or repressed was the V-neck robe that he wears. Over here. Gee, he looks like such a douchebag. Really yes, go go find Flynn. Go help out the nice princess, first whose first. name is. Let's get to Flynn's place. Uh, 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 Ethel. Ethel. Uh, it's yes. something like I think it's Ethel. Let's no, Princess Ethel. Princess Ethel sounds dumb. What was her name? Estelle? Estelle, Estelle. not fucking Ethel. She's not an 80-year-old grandma. Oh, I'm Princess Ethel. What 
Would you like some fruitcake? I use it to knock out the guards. Maybe not that way. Oh, can't go that way either. Um, is there any way we can go? Oh, I'm glad the guards just disappeared into thin air. The guards. Ah, uh, bye. Where can I do a full 80 part series of this? And I'm already falling over my words in episode 2. This is going, go, going well. What could it be? Oh, yeah. Isn't the night's dining hall around here? Seriously. You're trying to escape from a castle filled with hostile guards and you're taking time off for lunch. I mean, if they get caught stuffing their faces, then I cannot be held responsible. Sure, let's go to the dining hall. Why not? We want to explore every inch of this game, don't we? And steal as many grapes as possible. Check, sure, stick your head up the fireplace. Where they store the eggs, apparently. Look at this. Look at all of the space and they're storing the eggs in the fireplace. Oh, and some curry. Eggs and curry. What, what a wonderful dining hall. This is supposed to feed like a hundred guards. There are ten chairs, one egg and some curry. Can we maybe fire the royal chefs? <laughs> They're clearly not doing a good job. Ooh, a chest. I want the chest. I want the chest. No, oh, I thought I could sneak past him. Yeah. Apparently if you get too close to them you end up rubbing the guards backsides by mistake. And they tend to notice that. We're done. <gasps> what do we win? A life bottle! Oh boy, I'm, I'm never going to use it because it's a revival item. And revival items, you always think, I, I don't need them right now, I should save them for the future. When they'll be useful. And then you get to the end of the game and you realise, oh shit, I didn't use a single revival item. Whoopsie doodle. Oh dear. Let's get this over. <sighs> Hold still, friend. Hold still. Let me just... Bit of a poke. Bit, bit, bit of a poke and a slap. And that, that'll be enough to take down a man wearing full armour. We're done. I swear, that armour has got to be made out of clay. Or play-doh. Only explanation I have for how Yuri can carve through it so easily. I mean, his sword is basically just an ornate butter knife, right? Here. This is your castle and you don't know where you're going. <laughs> Can you say sheltered? This is Flint's room. Thank you, Yuri GPS. Are we gonna go in or we're we just gonna stare at the wood? Oh boy! A door! How incredible fucking open it, you idiots. I do like the princess's disappearing trick where she vanishes from reality the moment the cutscene ends. He's really keeping this place cleaned up. Flynn must be off gallivanting around somewhere. Yeah, always gallivanting around, leaving us to break into his house. It's so inconsiderate of him. He should have been here with a, a lovely basket of fruit to welcome us into his room. So, what sort of wickedness did you do anyway? <gasps> yeah. What were you planning to do by breaking into a knight's bedroom alone? You, you seductive pink-haired... Thing, and you. Yet a bunch of knights were chasing you around the castle. Yeah, that makes sense. They were just playing hide and seek. The princess is awful at it. She always forgets to hide. Um, you see, Yuri. Yes, that's his name. Don't wear it out. Whoa, what is it? I can't be specific, but Flynn is in terrible danger. No shit, he's a knight. You know the people who go into battle. So <laughs> it's like saying, oh no, Mario. He's at risk of being near sewage. Oh, really? The plumber? No fucking shit. I've got to go and warn him. Ah, oh, jeez. Can we maybe get a better explanation? No. Oh, this princess here, she's just so stupid. It doesn't get better with her, by the way. The rest of the game, she's the IQ drops, if anything. The rest of the characters make up for it, but she's an idiot. Listen. I've got something I've got to take care of right away, too. He says, in the bedroom, with a woman. <laughs> the next cutscene is just him jacking off. That's a sentence I've said now. That's a sentence that's going to be on the internet. These two underage... I'm fairly certain they're underage as well. Oh, boy. 
I ain't gonna go well for me. If if I get dragged off in the middle of a video, don't worry, it's just MI5 coming to take me away. Other than Flynn, there's no one I can depend on. Aww, she's sad and lonely. Maybe if she hadn't been so bloody sheltered that she didn't know half the rooms in her own castle, maybe she'd have more friends. Will you at least help me get out of the castle? Well, yeah, there's a window. Out you hop. Please. See if you can survive the landing. Try to roll, or at okay, least bounce at the serious, bottom. But why don't you tell me your name first? Doris. <laughs> Bernard. Am I just going to have to keep guessing names? I, I I know it's Estelle, although I think Ethel, <laughs> Ethel is a much better name for her. <laughs> wow, I've never quite seen a shit-eating grin like that. Like, that, that is the very definition of a shit-eating... You look in the dictionary for shit-eating grin, and, I mean, first of all, the dictionary publishers would slap you for trying to find that, and secondly, there'd be a picture of his face. Oh no, wrong dude. Flynn's the nighty dude. I'm just the, the man who sits in window sills. Oh, we're doing that? Okay. Wow, this room got a lot larger just in time for a fight. And swing, and ow. Jeez, this guy's spinning around faster than a Beyblade. Ow. Ow. Is he dead yet? No. Um, oh wait, I'm target locking. There we go. I thought I was frozen halfway up. Wait, and swing, and ow. Stab, stab, swing, ow. Oh no, Yuri. You died in your fourth ever fight. You should have eaten more curry. Well, that's, that's the end of the game, everyone. Whoopsie doo doo. And this is our first time fighting Iago. What, what was his name again? Z Zagi. Z Zagi the Zambunctious. Seems like the sort of game that, that should have little titles following people's names. You know, like Yuri the Easily Defeated. Zagi the Stop Kicking Me in the Head. Ow, ow, uh, oh yeah, I can't do Azure whilst running, that's why I keep fucking up. Ow, he's just blocking everything. This is supposed to be like the first boss. I'm just, um, yeah, Azure, Azure, Azure. <laughs> Jump up in the sky. I got really bad at this game at some point in time. I don't know when. Here we go, back in the swing of it now. Now we know what to do, just run in circles and hope he doesn't touch me. <laughs> it's just a game of keep away after all. Oh, now I'm stuck. I'm stuck on an invisible wall in a circle. I can't help. I can't. C can I move? No, I'm trapped outside the circle. What the fuck, game? Look, look at this. I try to move, and he just runs into. What the fuck? This isn't my fault. This is supposed to be. Remastered Definitive Edition came, and here I am, stuck on an invisible circle. I screwed up. No, you didn't screw up, Yuri. The, the gods of this world did not like you. Well, now we know why we keep losing. The fucking computer's me. rigging the game against us. Man, Tales of Vesperia. That game was rigged from the start. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm gonna kill you and carve your name into my blood. Yeah, that's pretty disgusting. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'd never heard that bit before. Carve his name into blood. I thought he said into his blade. When I mean, carving your name into blood is easy. It's like carving your name into, well, any sort of liquid. You just sort of trace your finger around in it. Right. Children do finger painting all the time. Writing in blood is basically the same principle. Really, we should be teaching that in schools, you know? Finger painting isn't that different from playing with the blood of your enemies. Did I win yet? Did, did I win? Ow. Evidently not. Oh, come on! How many more hits can this guy take? I guess it's back to round and round the fucking... Ow. Round and round the circle before it 
glitches again and screws me over. Ow. Oh hey, that time we, we actually did something. Well done, us. You feel what? I'm not feeling anything over here. Yeah, it's probably because Zagi severed your spinal cord, mate. <laughs> You've died four times over. Does somebody maybe want to get Zagi a hobby or a stress ball at the very least? <laughs> you really need something better to do with this time than just scream about how alive he feels in the middle of a fight. Yuri, let me help you. Oh, finally. She's just been standing over there eating popcorn the entire fucking fight. Stay away. <laughs> that's the shield. Yeah, that's the shield, alright. Oh boy, it's basically a dinner plate. Or a frisbee. That's good. She, she can play catch with repeat whilst I'm a fighting. Yeah, can you remember the last time somebody ran around in circles shooting Hadoukens at you? That's really a memorable fight. Oh no, not, not again. Oh, mess up, yeah, you, heal, do, do the healing. Make with the feeling nice juice. Ow, ow, let's just run, run. More healing, please, more healing, please. This isn't enough healing, ow. Let's just take him out already. You're strong. This guy really loves kicking me in the, in the cheekbones. I mean, why is he so jealous? Is, is he just in love with Yuri's jawline or something? He wants to keep smacking his foot into it. Do the swingy. There we go. The swingy. It's got so many names, that move. Ow, 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 ow. Can we get some more of that first aid? <laughs> We might need a little bit more since I'm being thrown through the air like a fucking ragdoll. God. I'm so out of practice at this game. Come on, Yuri. I don't know why she needs to ask the gods for first aid help. Like, they're not going to drop off a packet of plasters, are they? Hey you guys, is the holy power come to you? Do you need first aid? <laughs> then boy, do I have a friend for you. Do I look like Flynn to you? Not in the least. Remember, most people don't know what Flynn looks like. I only know what Flynn looks like because I've played the fucking game before. I feel power running all through my body. That's not power, that's blood. You're bleeding heavily. You've You've been stabbed like three dozen times. Go see a real doctor. You've got the wrong guy. Aren't you supposed to know this stuff? He's not Flynn. Zagi's face, man. It cracks me up every time. Details, details. Bring it. Seriously, we, we just killed you. Or beat you. Or stabbed you. Actually, why did I die when he stabbed me? But we stabbed him. And he's just standing there looking a bit miffed. Like we've... Like we're a cat who's brought in a dead bird. Zagi, we're leaving. The knights are on to us. Oh no, Ezio's here to back him up. Whatever will we do? <laughs> and that's what I think of the latest Assassin's Creed titles. <laughs> Mind your own business. I'm just getting to the best part. Hurry, before the knights get here. Or would you rather have your fun end today? We should be getting a move on too. We'll just go pay a visit to the goddess and be on our way. Are you seriously following the assassin out? What? <laughs> a moment ago he's trying to kill you, then you're all buddy-buddy so you can Yuri. walk out the door together. Um... Yeah, I know. 
We'll stick together until we're out of the castle. Oh, isn't Yuri being so oh. nice? Knight nice. in shining armor. But I was gonna say, shining Venic. My name is Estelise. Ah, oh, we got a name for her. And I was right, it wasn't Ethel. Well then, Estelise. Let's get moving. Wait, we can't just leave the door like that. Seriously. <laughs> You're fine with leaving dead bodies on the floor, but we better not leave the door. I really don't think this is the time Might want to get your priorities in order still. But... Why does she look so sad about a door? What? All right, all right. Just, <laughs> just give me a minute. Does the holy power perform carpentry? Just pick the door up, fit it back on its hinges. There, good as new. Now let's get going. And now they're surrounded once more. Because, you know, moving a door, it's not quiet. All that time they just wasted right there. Uh, is it this way? I think it's this way. This castle's a labyrinth. Oh. I found the exit. It's not a very good labyrinth. It's like, no sign of David Bowie anywhere. Mainly because he's dead. I hope no one was hurt. We have killed, like, a dozen people on the way here. And oh, now you care nice. if people were hurt. Sure to protect themselves. <laughs> oh, she is so incredibly sheltered, this girl. Yes, I guess so. You're it all! Where are you hiding? I'm up here. That must be LeBlanc. Yuri, Yuri, let down your hair. Up comes Commander LeBlanc, just climbing up those big blue locks. We have a bit of a Seriously, what? Come on, let's hurry. Look at the, what is that hairstyle supposed to be? Like, rejected Sailor Moon villain? What, what is it called? We should do something about your clothes. You stick out like a sore thumb. Yeah, what she needs is a v-neck. A real deep v-neck. Everybody seems to be wearing them these days. I have a change of clothes there. Just the one, though. Okay, <laughs> Any more than one change of clothes would be excessive for the skill. You know, her priorities are all over the place. Ah, uh, right, which, which room's hers? I'm guessing it's the one that gives us a cutscene. Because they can't go more than five minutes without pausing to explain every little minute detail of this world. But I need to stop complaining about it, I loved this title. Need, need to stop complaining so much, need to play it with, with fresh eyes and realise that there is a hell of a lot of anime bullshit going on here. Just in case. It's not like I was going to peek. Flynn did tell me to be careful if I ever met you. Wow. He could have taught her how to fight, but no. He, he gave her very vague advice that if she ever met one of his weird friends, Thanks, don't Flynn. go getting naked near him. That's excellent advice, Flynn. What an incredible captain of the guard you are. There. All finished. Again. Took them several hours to do that, much like the door. It's actually tomorrow and the guards have given up and gone home. What? Do, do I look strange? I mean, the shoulder pads look like they should zip up and give you a giant hood. But apart from that, you, you look like like a Sailor Moon protagonist. Doesn't suit you either. Really? Oh, you've hurt her feelings. Yeah, have a nice closer look at the costume you hate. <laughs> Maybe you'll, you'll enjoy it more at point blank range. A handshake. It means nice to meet you. That ain't no milkshake. I seen me oh different sort of shake. I'm sorry, I'm a poor person. I don't know what a handshake is. From the, right. I'm from the lower going? districts. All we eat down there is milkshakes yes. and the, the water from that flooded fountain. Yay. Yuri, you were a knight once, right? Didn't you already say you heard about me from Flynn? Well, I, I want to know who's responsible for these little cutscene art. Because... Are you an <laughs> it does look like MS Paint. It's a shame, because there's a lot of thought and care in this game. And then there's this. Come on, let's go before we're caught by the castle guards. Oh, now he wants her to get moving. 
after they've already been caught like half a dozen times. Which way am I going? Um, I think it's out this way. I think it's through the door. Oh. Oh, can I sneak by him? Yes, I can, because he does not take his guarding duties very seriously. Well done, guard. You're a credit to the team. Man, I wish it was that easy to sneak past people in real life. You know, you see someone you don't want to talk to on the other side of the street. Just move just within their eyesight, and then they'll go, <gasps> before performing a full 180 turn and just ignoring you for the rest of the day. If only we could all be as lucky as Estelle and Yuri. Where is Estelle anyway? Oh, there she is. Half a mile away from the battle. Look at her contributing. You want revenge? Bring it. Uh, oh, I feel so powerful. Do you? Do you? Beating up men makes you feel powerful? <laughs> We've got a very radical feminist in this part of the world. But with that, I think it's time to end. We, we will be doing this whole game, I've decided, here and now, we're doing the whole thing. Despite the fact it's 70 plus hours long, and we died four times at one boss fight. But we, we made a friend, and only killed like a dozen people, so that's an improvement. So until next time, farewell everyone.